From the sexiest woman alive completely roasting Phil Mickelson, to the real reason why she can't stand the former PGA turned live superstar, here is everything you need to know about Paige Spiranek's attack against Mickelson. Yes, now, if you've been keeping up with everything golf, then you probably already know that professional golfer Phil Mickelson has been on a major downward spiral ever since his now infamous interview speaking on the Live Tour, which he famously abandoned the PGA for. It truly seemed like everyone and their mother is taking shots at the former number one, and now even the world's sexiest woman has attacked Mickelson, not once, but twice. So you're probably asking yourself, who are we talking about exactly? Well, the one and only Paige Spiranak, aka one of the most attractive pro golfers to ever exist, she was even named one of the sexiest women alive in 2022. Now you're probably wondering, who exactly is Paige Spiranak and what was her professional career like? How did it end? Well, first and foremost, she's an ex-pro golfer turned social media star. And despite having given up the sport, she still participates in online content creation by playing it. She shares pretty useful tips and tricks on her Instagram. Now, the current social media influencer was a top player before she even started college. She received the West Region Player of the Year award twice from the Future Collegians World Tour. Also, she competed in the U.S. Girls Junior Amateur three times qualifying four times for the Junior PGA Championship. Not too shabby, right? Unfortunately, despite being very talented, Spiranek never had much success as a professional. Despite her accomplishments as an amateur, she struggled to make it pro due to her anxiety and nervousness. She was a beast on the course, but when it came to tournament time, she crumbled under the pressure. Shortly after turning pro, Paige believed that retirement would be a better choice for her after she experienced numerous setbacks. Since then, she has traded her clubs for an Instagram account. She's not been shy about sharing her thoughts on everything golf, never holding back especially towards Mickelson. In the first instance of the pair's back-and-forth online feud, Mickelson took issue with fellow pro player Sam Ryder's attire at the Farmers Insurance Open in San Diego earlier this month. In fact, Mickelson tweeted out, The tour forbids shorts, yet this week's leader can use joggers and ankle socks? He continued, Showing four inches of ankle? I'm no fashion guy, never will be. But there are some things I won't ever understand. Now, this comment seemed to annoy Spiranak, seemingly pretty pissed that he always has to get involved. And sadly, or probably fortunately, Spiranak was not able to access the six-time major champion's account to view the tweet. It was most likely due to the fact that he had already blocked the influencer. However, it definitely didn't stop her from responding to the 52-year-old by criticizing his manliness. She even brought his wife Amy into the picture. Spiranak mentioned Phil Mickelson in the most recent episode of her podcast, Playing Around. She cheekily stated, Phil Mickelson even had this tweet saying, how can you show four inches of skin? Also, if Phil thinks that's four inches, I feel sorry for his wife. Yikes. You know, that one must have cut Mickelson pretty deep, considering how big his ego is nowadays. Spiranak commented on Ryder's clothing. He was revealing maybe an inch of ankle. They weren't really tight. I thought he looked good, but it just shows how incredibly frustrating golf Twitter can be that they were so bothered by Sam Ryder wearing joggers. Spiranak went on to denounce the strict rules about golf fashion, adding, If there's anything slightly different in golf, everyone freaks out. And she definitely isn't wrong. Golf isn't an old school sport anymore. So there should be no shame in a man or woman's choice of clothing. It appears that Spiranak still holds ill feelings towards Mickelson. Just a few days ago, Spiranak took another shot at the former PGA star. Anyone remember when Tiger Woods started a social media firestorm recently? You know, the moment he gave fellow pro player Justin Thomas a tampon. Yes, that is not a joke. A tampon. Of course, Paige had something to say about this. She took advantage of the odd, yet funny moment by explaining that if the two golf adversaries ever face off in a Live vs. PGA Tour Ryder Cup type tournament, Spiranek would love to see Tiger Woods give Phil Mickelson another tampon. Ouch! You know Mickelson felt that one. She really doesn't hold back. Now, to explain the actual moment, Woods was paired with good friends and fellow PGA stars Rory McIlroy and Justin Thomas. During the tournament, the trio was seen laughing together during their opening round. Shortly after, the 15-time major champion was seen jokingly giving Thomas a tampon. After leaving the tee box, the two laughed together about the joke. But, social media users had differing opinions about what happened. 
Several people were questioning Woods, but Spiernak expressed her support for the golfing legend. I need a Live vs. PGA Tour Ryder Cup type event, just so Tiger can give Phil a tampon after outdriving him. She added, Savage! Similarly to Mickelson, other star golfers have been the target of Paige Spiernak. Many have speculated that maybe her new hobby of choice is picking feuds with pro golfers. Maybe this keeps her more relevant, and to be honest, it's working. Just like many others on the internet, Spiranak shared her disappointment regarding Dustin Johnson and Phil Mickelson, especially for choosing to play in the Live series, which we all know by now is supported by Saudi Arabia. Paige asserted that players who quit the PGA Tour are not at all concerned with the development of the sport. She didn't hold back, criticizing golfers who quit the PGA Tour to back Greg Norman's latest brainchild. Spiranak also took issue with the way professionals keep foregoing established circuits in favor of what she views as a more lucrative endeavor. Simply put, they just want to make as much money as possible. Is it really about the love of the sport anymore? And just like these two, Paige has also taken aim at Bryson DeChambeau. The retired female golfer turned social media star has been disparaging the 2020 US Open champion at every opportunity for the past few years. The former golfer frequently posts videos on her social media platforms, playfully mocking DeChambeau's infamously inflated ego. She has amassed millions of views in the process. There have been numerous humorous instances to analyze, with a wide variety of colorful comments to choose from. The rivalry's funniest moment may have occurred at the TPC at Sawgrass in Florida, when the frequently intimidating driver topped his tee shot on a par 4. To Spiranak's delight, DeChambeau shanked the ball 96 yards. She immediately tweeted, I get so much joy from witnessing the best in the world hit hacker shots just like us. Paige is a very blunt person, and she's gaining some serious clout for it. Last but not least, the now influencer got into a scuffle with Nick Adams. Adams, a fervent supporter of alpha male disciplines, was pretty pissed off about ladies playing slowly in front of him on the golf course. This is essentially when the beef started. The golfer stated, can't there be a par 3 course set aside for the slow female golfers so they don't clog up the championship courses on the weekends? Adams asked. In response, Spiranek replied, it would be so satisfying out driving you all day long. Once again, savage! Do you think she actually could? We would pay a lot of money to see that. So there you have it. From one of the sexiest women alive roasting pro golfer Phil Mickelson to the feuds Paige Spiernak gets into with golfers. That was everything you needed to know about the recent golf drama.